Hello again, this is Ben Loma, graphic designer with Iconics Imaging. Uh, today we're going to continue our training um, uh, in creating half tones for sand carving, uh, this time with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Again, to give you an idea of what we're doing, um, I've prepared this file. I'm going to open it up with a Windows Photo Viewer. Um, Okay, so this is the idea. We take an image and create a black and white half-toned image. And you can see if half tones just a series of black dots that are kind of closely knit and uh, come together to form an image. So um, let's get started. I'm going to open up my fo uh, Photoshop. I have it running already. Maximize my window so you can see this uh, workspace better. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the uh, original, the original picture file, and there we go. Edmund Fitzgerald, open. Okay, so here's my full color image. Okay, and this color information is really unnecessary because we're uh, making a halftone. So I'm first going to go to Image, Mode, and Grayscale to take all the color out. It's going to prompt you to discard the color information, and that is absolutely okay. Uh, if you don't want to see this message again, click there. Um, I'm going to you know, uncheck that and just click Discard. Okay, perfect. Next, what we're going to want to do is, this is a little large, so I'm going to scale it down, go to Image, and image size. And it's important to size this to uh, whatever substrate you're going to be working with uh, when you sandblast. Uh, so we'll set the width and I'm going to say I'm working at 5 by 3. If you constrain proportions here, make sure that's checked, it'll scale it proportionately. Um, for instance, if I uh, say type 10 here, it'll scale it to 10 by 6. Uh, I'm going to go 5 by 3 though. Um, the resolution also we're going to set here from 72. I'm going to bump this all the way up to 800 right away. And once I have those set, I'll just click OK. Alright, and I'll zoom out a little bit here. OK, so now let's create this halftone. I'm going to go back to the image menu, back to mode. From the top, the list bitmap. And this is going to open up this bitmap window. Um, first, it's going to look for an output resolution, and um, we're going to make this 800 as well. Um, then the next section here is looking for a method. We want to use the halftone screen. If yours isn't set to halftone screen by default, go ahead and choose it from that menu, and then we'll just click OK, and this will bring up the halftone screen. There's a few settings here, uh, frequency, angle, and shape. I'm going to leave my frequency at 55 here. Anything between 35 and 65 is fine, though. Uh, the angle, I'm going to leave at 45, but you can set this to anything you'd like. And the shape, I will choose round and click OK. And while I have my, my half-toned image, zoom up here so you can see the dots a little better. Um, and that about wraps it up for f our work in Photoshop. Um, what we need to do is save this out. I'm going to go File, Save As. And from here, we want to make sure that the format is set to TIFF. TIFF is a very high quality f uh, image file. It's uncompressed by default. I'm going to change the name of this. I'll Choose uh, Fitz Half Tone and click Save. This is going to open this Options menu here. Uh, by it should be fine by default. Um, these settings are fine. You'll leave that to None and click OK. And there we go. We've saved it out. So let's minimize this. And we're going to hop over to Illustrator. And I've got mine running here. And uh, Maximize my window. Okay, so we're going to create a new document in Adobe Illustrator. So File, New, 
the document profile will set to print size letter uh, it's eight and a half by eleven um, that's good okay we want to import our photoshopped image so we'll go file place and we'll navigate to that fits halftone file and place it in the document it's important that you don't resize this image um, if you start to resize your dots will get a little bit small in your halftone and it will be rather difficult to sand carve um, okay so I'm just going to give this a title here uh, this is a hypothetical project here for um, maybe could go in a memorial for the Edmund Fitzgerald let's see I'm going to scale this up um, Iconics Imaging is uh, located in Duluth Minnesota on Lake Superior um, so something like the uh, wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald seemed like an appropriate theme for for uh, this tutorial Type up the date here. We've got November 10, 1975. And I'm just going to change my font. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, the Times New Roman here and Old. And let's see, I'm going to again make this, uh, make this capitalize quick, scale it up. and drop this centered in our document looks pretty good um, so uh, from this point you can go ahead and you could print this file um, I'm not gonna print this in right now I'm just gonna export export a preview here because it looks a little scrambled um, and if you view this it will in like a preview or something it'll it'll give a more accurate representation so I'm going to choose TIFF again um, as my file type I'll name this FITS FINAL and I'm going to save this out and here's the options for this it gives you resolution options uh, screen medium high uh, we'll choose other and just make sure that you set it to 800 dpi that's if you're doing this preview it's, this is an unnecessary step I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes here um okay and then we'll go ahead and open this back up with our photo viewer in windows and there we have it um our edmund fitzgerald half tone you can see here uh, all the dots represented and that uh, about covers it so uh if you have questions regarding this tutorial go ahead and post them um uh, other than that, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more sand carving artwork tutorials.